This is the final word for wisdom.com. Fueled by Kookaburra Cricket, one of Kookaburra's own, Keaton Jennings, with us here for a couple of minutes at the Oval ahead of the final test match. First and foremost, you're going to walk out with Alistair Cook in his final test. That must be such a thrill coming up this week. Yeah, definitely. Look, I mean, to, to have grown up watching sort of such a legend um, and then to, to go on and, and, and have the privilege um, to, to have shared a change room with him, to have, have opened the batting with him, um, is, is it just something really unique and really special. So, yeah, huge moment for, for all the guys as well to, to sort of see off such a, such a good man. You must be expecting some sort of roar when you walk out to bat in what <laughs> will be his final innings. Yeah, definitely. Look, I mean, like I've said, he's, he's, he's an amazing man. Um, a great cricketer and, and, and just being an absolute privilege to, to have shared that time with him and, and, and to have had the opportunity to, to be involved with, uh, with his career. And in terms of your own form, you, you batted for a session last week, bounced back a little bit. Did it feel good to get some time in the middle? Yeah, definitely. Look, I mean, the, the surfaces have been hard work this year. Um, so to to get some sort of uh, runs underneath the belt were, were good, although it wasn't any sort of match-winning contribution. Um, but yeah, look, I mean, ev every week is, is a new challenge. Um, hopefully this week we can win another Test match, regardless of anyone's personal performance. I've, I've always said that, that winning games of cricket is, is what you want to do, and being a part of that winning squad is, has been an absolutely fantastic experience. And what did did, did do for you in terms of bolstering your confidence that you might have turned the corner in that second innings at Southampton? Yeah, huge. I mean, look, it's like I said, the, the conditions have been tough um, just generally across the board this, this sort of summer. Um, but look, it, it, it's been amazing to, to have been a part of it, um, to, to see the way Cookie's gone about it, Ruti, um, and just see the way they sort of stay really level um, through through sort of that adversity and that tough time. So look, it's been, been huge for me as, as, as well. It's been observed by lots of people, myself included, that you managed to, to maintain a real positive disposition through the last few weeks with a lot of scrutiny on you. Now, how do you divorce uh, yourself from, like, when it's not going so well, how do you manage to step aside from it and stay so upbeat? Um, look, I think perspective is probably a really big thing to, to realise there's a lot going on outside of cricket in my life. Um, and uh, look, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm, I'm a happy, positive person, so I think it would be wrong on, on myself not to go out and, and play my cricket in, in a sort of similar fashion. Um, I think sometimes you, you fight yourself, as I did last, last summer, um, and I think I've, I've gone about it in a really sort of happy way this year. And you feel as though if you get a chance to tour this winter in, in Sri Lanka and the West Indies, those conditions will suit you after batting so well in India a couple of years ago? Hopefully. Look, I mean, they're, they're two amazing places to tour. I've uh, been there both times with the Lions um, and, and, and really enjoyed those experiences. So, look, hopefully hopefully get some runs and, and, and then really sort of stake a claim for myself. Um, but I think first and foremost, win, win the Test match. That would be absolutely awesome. Keaton Jennings, thanks for joining the final. Well, enjoy this wonderful Test match, Alistair Cook's final one, uh, and, uh, and, um, and good luck for the winter. Cheers, mate. Thank you very much. Driving, personally it's very important with your headers. So if you're playing a ball that's coming straight down at you, you want to drive straight. And so if your head's in the right spot, you can sort of follow the ball there. If it's a cover drive and the ball goes a bit that way, even if you don't get your feet in the right spot, if your head's in the right spot, it sort of moves away with the ball, you can follow the ball much easier. I think a lot of people get in trouble when they try to drive the ball and their head's a bit far back and they sort of hit in the air or nick off that way. Um, or if they come here in a straight drive and their head falls over a bit and they're playing around their front pad and they get hit. So I think head's really important when you're playing the, the straight drive or any drive in that position. So as long as your head's right, I feel like everything else sort of follows.